What's up, people? So, the new Dragon Ball Super Broly trailer was released today. Or, it wasn't released, it was leaked. The thing about it is it was supposed to be shown at the New York Comic Con uh, tomorrow. But it got leaked in China somewhere. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say we take those, we're going to look at the trailer, we're going to see what the trailer is about. thing about the trailer, though, is this isn't supposed to be the present era of Dragon Ball Super. This trailer is going to focus on people's origin stories, so we might see Bardock, Frieza, in his first form, some other things, I don't know, Planet of Vegeta. So yeah, let's see what this trailer is all about, though. So, I guess this is Planet Vegeta that we're on. It has so many moons and whatnot. I wonder if they just always turn into apes. And I guess this is would be Vegeta, uh, King Vegeta's palace. Ooh, that's inter- Ooh, and we got the Ginyu Force. So, here... Is that Jace? I don't know. But we have Zarbon, we have Dodoria. Is this Apu? I don't know who this guy is. I think this is Jace, Zarbon, Dodoria, Apple, I think, random Frieza ships and whatnot. We got the Ginyu Force here, doing their patent Ginyu pose, Ginyu Goldo, Jace, uh, Birder, Raccoon. So they still have their armor, everyone else has their armor. Um, so we have Frieza, this is like, I'm not sure of who this is, I think, I've seen Geekdom's videos on this, this is like the Frieza, the King Cold families, like, uh, I don't know, eight or something, I'm not sure exactly what to call her, we have Frieza, and next to him, this looks like King Cold, I guess. We got King Vegeta. Looks like he was shown, told some horrible news, and made to bow in front of. Yeah, that was King Cold. King Cold and Frieza. And then we got some no name Saiyans who I don't. Uh, I can't tell who they are, but probably aren't anyone who we know. So we have three Saiyans born around the same time. That sounds like Bardock. Oh, it is Bardock. You see Bardock, but his armor is different. Why is his armor so... square? You know, usually... Well, his armor was pointy. His armor looks square. He got his patent frisk sleeves and whatnot. He got a scar. He looks more like Goku. Bardock didn't have Goku's same exact hair from what I remember. He doesn't have the same exact hair on uh, Dragon Ball Fighters either. <laughs> we got King Vegeta. King Vegeta with his... I don't remember King Vegeta ever having any jewelry. But he has his goatee. Did King Vegeta have a goatee before it? He just have a mustache. We got two, I guess, scientist Saiyans. Paragus. And then they were telling Paragus, I guess, that they intend to send Broly to some weird planet far away i don't know why so my assumptions would be either that he was stronger than vegeta was a baby which is something that they check regularly they check power levels but as you can see no one had any scouters or anything when they were approaching the kids and Saiyans couldn't sense energy so i don't know but then you see paragus his armor doesn't really have shoulders like the long shoulders, and even his flaps are like squared off. 
I don't know. I don't really like that design for the armor, personally. See, everyone else has the, or at least Vegeta has, these people have the pointed shoulders too. King Vegeta has the pointed shoulders. And he also has this, I don't know what the heck this is. And he breaks out of a window. And then I will raise Broly into the ultimate warrior and get my revenge. Though apparently Paragus is a great trainer. But the question is, why are they sending Broly off? It's either that Broly was too strong, or maybe they were sending Broly off so he wouldn't get destroyed by Frieza, and they also thought Frieza was up to something. And that's baby Broly. See, Bardock thinks Frieza's up to something. So, a lot of people from what I saw are online are kind of upset because it looks like Goku is not necessarily a baby when he's being shipped off. He's about his size when he's in Dragon Ball. So that could mess around with Dragon Ball. And it also leads me to ask, if is this movie even going to be canon? Because... I mean, here's the thing, though. If Goku is still aged, if Goku's aged a little bit, I say he's like five or six he can still be sent to earth bump his head and still be raised by uh gohan and everything could still happen and it just wouldn't affect the story at all he just left uh, planet of vegeta a little bit later and then the question just becomes why didn't doesn't he remember anyone and it's probably because he bumped his head and then we have bardock with his Saiyan armor design that I dislike. And Jine. Goku's mom. And then we got Vegeta. Beating up some alien. Also, I'm wondering. How strong is Bardock related to the other Saiyans in this movie? Because before he was shown as a low-class warrior but even though i'm pretty sure he had like a power level that was even comparable to king vegeta's so it was always confusing to me so i wonder how strong he would be in this movie relative to the other sands will they keep that low-class warrior tag on him or will he be like king vegeta's right hand man or something like that i don't know then we have Vegeta beating up some alien in the background on Planet Vegeta. Or I don't know if this is Planet Vegeta. It doesn't actually even look like Planet Vegeta. It's not red enough. And we have Broly on some weird planet eating some egg. <laughs> Broly's doing whatever he can to survive. And we have Frieza destroying... Planet Vegeta, and that's the end of the trailer. And then it shows the three Saiyans. So the 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 way this is turning out right is super interesting because these are three Saiyans whose lives were changed forever because of the I guess the arrival of Frieza and his family so their origins were connected then they were spread apart in the beginning 
because they all got shipped to different places. Goku got shipped to Earth, I am assume, so he wouldn't get destroyed by Frieza. Broly got shipped to some frontier planet for reasons we don't know yet. And then Vegeta just sees his whole race die, and then he gets taken by Frieza. I assume that could be changed as well. So, the question is, in this movie, when Broly comes back and reignites with the two other prodigies, like, will they just fight the whole time and will they kill Broly or will Broly kill one of them? Or will they have to join together to kill some greater force as the three prodigies of the Saiyans from the past? Because I guess they would easily be the strongest Saiyans ever in history. But, yeah. It would be kind of sad if Broly just gets killed off. as Because they're making the origin and the background seem so, I don't know sad for each of them like I, I feel like they're going to do a good job of making you feel sorry for the three in which i don't even I'm, so i guess it'll have we'll have to also know why Broly was shipped off of Planet Vegeta in the first place. That'll have a lot to do with it. But a lot of this is Frieza's fault, and then Frieza just doesn't... Like, I feel like the the way the movie should go is they all just kill Frieza, and then it's just happy ever, happily ever after, and then no one, neither of them have to die. But that probably won't end up happening. But King Vegeta is also probably a dickhead because Vegeta was a ultra dickhead and then King Vegeta was probably worse than him because he was a king and then yeah so he probably just sent Broly off to some planet just because they didn't even have a reason so yeah let's see where things go uh, that's it for the trailer breakdown or whatnot. hopefully you guys enjoyed it it's King Up 7 signing off peace